Greetings, thrill seeker. Musky time here. Just want to talk to you real quick about some out outdoor target shooting. You can see I have a uh, little target here. It's about a quarter inch uh, steel plate. Uh, let's see, I got three of them that I've been using, and uh, I don't know. Uh, I put, you know, on a typical day, I'll put a, a 500 rounds in. Uh, give you an idea of how I have it set up. Um, yeah, you can see I have three of them set up. Uh, basically, the Shepherd's Crook um, uh, angle iron, basically uh, used to hang plotting plants and all that kind of thing. Anyhow, uh, drove them into the ground, or you can also see there's a uh, what quarter inch uh, uh, conduit that I sometimes will drive in, so my target's a little higher. And then uh, let's see, I just use uh, fluorescent paint. Took up um, uh, the size of the targets, which is uh, uh, 12 inches by 12 inches. Cut some different designs, but these seem to be my favorite designs. You can see them from a distance off. I typically shooting less than uh, uh, 50 yards, so it makes it easy. You can see some of my targets there to give me an idea of distance. And I thought I'd just show you uh, some of my supplies or whatever when I spend a day outside. Yeah, bring it all in the bike here, baby. Anyhow, uh, this is it. Bring it all in a bag here, nondescript, so nobody really knows what I have in there. Um, let's see, the uh, outside shooting or whatever, I'm running 500 plus rounds, so I use my um, uh, Smith & Wesson uh, 22 long rifle revolver, carries 10 shots, very nice. DS-10 speed loaders, I got, uh, basically you can see there, I got 80 rounds ready to go, plus I'll throw another 10 in the chamber or whatever, so... There's a lot of time of shooting. Uh, I like a revolver when I'm out in the open because um, I don't have shells flying all over that I've got to pick up. Basically, the shells stay in the cylinder, and then I take this uh, contractor pouch, and I'll dump my empties in there, and as that starts to fill, I'll dump in a plastic bag. You see earplugs when you're outside or whatever. A little brass thing here. This is actually a contractor hose clamp. Brass hose clamp, I straighten them out. Then it helps to get the lead out of the um, cylinder and things like that. Darn, gun's nice and clean because I haven't thrown a shot at anything today. Let's see, I got, uh, let's see, Winchester. You can see Winchester 555, nice cheap round CCI mini mags. And then uh, uh, Federal Champion 525. Uh, Winchester and Federal are from Walmart. Nice and, you know, inexpensive and things like that. A little over four cents a round. The CCIs run about six and a half cents a round. You know, the difference is I end up having to clean my gun about every 150 to 200 rounds because uh, the Winchester and Federal just jam it up. Anyhow, you can see an Otis uh, cleaning kit here designed for the uh, all kinds of guns, but I use it for my 22, primarily for the um, uh, the barrel. Everything else, I basically use uh, the cleaning rod or whatever with cleaning solution. This time I have the uh, CLP and um, uh, pressured air. Nice to blow it out. If you got kids, bring it, bring a set of earmuffs or whatever. It's kind of nice. If you're in the range, put the uh, plugs in and earmuffs, and the kids love that. I don't know. Some other stuff, uh, golf balls that I'll be smacking around sometimes uh, with the 22 as well, which is always fun. Always carry with me in my back pocket. Uh, a cleaning towel, whatever, so I can just wipe the gun down between shoots, and obviously paper towels. The only other thing you can see there is hand wipes, um, yeah, ear, uh, eyeglasses too, but hand wipes there, um, you know, your, your hands get all dirtied up, so it's nice to have it. Uh, towel or something to sit on, lay on, whatever, that's kind of nice. If you got a car, you'd be bringing lawn chairs. Anyhow, nice day out in the uh, sun, shooting, fishing. Hope I hope, uh, answer some of the questions for you. Let's see, again, the targets are... Uh, 12 foot by 12 foot uh, steel plates. You can see they're on a little angle. It deflects the uh, shots uh, downward and uh, the spray away. Um, and, you know, whatever. So it's about a 40 degree, 45 degree angle. But you can see it's a nice, easy setup from here. Hey, hope you're having a great day. Later. Musky Time, signing off.